Thank you, thank you, my boys, my boys in the front row, the other way, yeah, let's do this. I don't know. Do boy, the boys do that? I don't know. I don't know what the boys do. Is George Washington here? Because there has to be one man on the stage at a time, at any time. I think they don't want people to fall, but I don't, maybe it's a lighting thing. If I move this. <laughs> I'm just going to make my, is that okay if I make myself at home? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. An interior decorator and a comedian. What can't I do? Oh my gosh. Hey, everybody. It's, this is so exciting. It's my first time performing here. I've never performed comedy in a sex dungeon. <laughs> Even the backs of the chairs have handcuffs. <laughs> What is going down? Oh my gosh, or who is going down? Oh my gosh. It's really great to be here. Uh, I'm glad I made it. I really was not feeling too hot today. Just bleeding a lot because it's that time of the month when I finally floss. <laughs> my parents hate that I say that on stage. <laughs> They do think it's a reflection of their parenting, and I get it, because it is. <laughs> that key drop was my dad. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, they, I don't know about you all, but there's like a bunch of hygiene things I just discovered in adulthood that I feel like I should have been taught. Like, my dentist just told me that I'm supposed to be brushing my gums. I'm like, there's a tooth and tongue setting on this thing. But there's no gum. You, you knew this? The gums? None of the bros did. That's what I'm talking about. Hey! Just me and the bros with our dirty gums. It's so true. The worst one, though, every couple of years I learn a new one. Uh, that was the most recent. The most horrific one, though, happened a few years ago when I learned that I was mistakenly one of the white people not washing my legs in the shower. Just me and Reagan falsely believing in trickle down. <laughs> okay, we got some poli sci majors in the house. Rock on, not Jim, but everyone else. Get that reference. I love that you sitting there too. Like it's like um, like America's Got Talent. Like you know, judge my skills, but only from the profile. I don't like the profile because I don't have a butt. Oh no, I uh, lost it <laughs> in a pretty tragic accident, genetics. <laughs> it's really bad, really bad. I'm actually, uh, I I'm, I'm from South Florida and I had to leave. I came to Chicago, was forced to leave South Florida because it was so hard for me to date there without the proper curvature. <laughs> it doesn't matter that I have a master's degree. There's no ass to clap. <laughs> I, I did, are you, from, are you from Florida as well? Your mom's side of the family. It's like half your heritage. So like half of you doesn't know how to vote in elections. <laughs> I love that. Are, are you named Hanging Chad? <laughs> no, what's your name though? Ian, okay. E in the state or isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> That's a pun for you. We got any pun freaks? My boys. My pun freak. My boys. <laughs> Those are my pun freak dirty gummed boys. <laughs> don't do them any wrong or I'll come for you. Oh my gosh. Are, are you all, you all from the Midwest? Okay. I love that. A lot of, where, where, where are you from? Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> Michigan, that's here like on the hand. Yeah, Rockin', I love this thing. Um, the hand pointy, it's my two favorite things, a greeting and a puzzle. <laughs> Obsessed. I am glad though we don't do that in Florida because people would use a different part of their body. <laughs> you know? Someone completely unprovoked would be like, uh, yeah, I'm from way down there. <laughs> Probably Ian. And it's like, come on, how long is your labia? <laughs> that wasn't specifically about Ian. <laughs> I threw that in last minute. The Ian thing, I didn't know he was going to be here. 
<laughs> we just had our moment. Oh my gosh. I love that. I will say, I love the Midwest. A lot of people even think I'm from here because I look like I've just emerged from a corn maze. <laughs> That's not even my crop, okay? <laughs> South Florida, there's, there's no corn. I had grapefruit trees in my backyard. Not a body by corn. I'm citrus around, thank you. <laughs> It's different. It's more acidic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I do love it here. I think it's a, a magical place. Um, you know, a lot of people, the, when they're trying to decide where to go, they want to head out to like LA or something, or they'll want to head out to New York. Not me. Chicago's where I get laid. <laughs> I, I do think it's because I look like everybody's mother. These are some Midwest mom hips, you know. <laughs> Come on over, I'll whip up some cheese curds. <laughs> That's what I call coming. <laughs> Which I really like to do, but can sometimes... <laughs> People don't usually laugh there. I love that. <laughs> I, I love, I'm a big fan of coming. <laughs> come, 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 come. I'm a big fan, and, uh, and I, like to, I like to date a lot of different types of people, as you can probably tell from my boots. Um, sometimes, though, with the fellas, it's kind of hard to, to prioritize my pleasure sometimes. And I think it's because there's a lot of different standards in the bedroom. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but if a fella say Ian says he's hooked up with somebody, you assume he's gotten off. It's like I've said he's just had some chicken wings. You assume bone in unless told otherwise. <laughs> but if I hook up with somebody, people treat me like an astronaut. They're just like, I'm so glad you made it back home safe. <laughs> if I'm doing all of that prep work and getting out there, I'd like to experience the Big Bang. <laughs> <sighs> it's very upsetting. I think the issue, uh, one of the main issues, comes down to like our words for things. Like there's a term for when penis folk don't get off, blue balls, but no equivalent for us vulva venturers. <laughs> it seems like we're not expected to come, which is a bummer, because that's what I came here to do. <laughs> In this freaky sex dungeon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I, my New Year's resolution was to stop hitting on audiences in bulk, and I will not. <laughs> it's basically every other resolution. <laughs> but I have decided, though, I'm going to fix this one tiny problem. I'm going to start a revolution if I can. And the next time it happens to me, I'm just going to turn to a partner and tell him, come on, man, you left me with Crimson Clit. <laughs> I... Uh, I I say all of these raunchy things on stage, and maybe I shouldn't. I actually come from a pretty traditional family. Two parents, mom and grandma. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was living with my grandma before I moved to Chicago. I was actually waiting. I was supposed to be a diplomat with the State Department, so I had gone to school for foreign policy and then was waiting on my medical clearance. Um, the reason... I, I had to wait a bit for my clearance, though, because uh, uh, a few years back, I had had a manic episode. Are we crazy in here? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I had actually spent one Christmas in a psychiatric hospital, and I'm not going to lie. It wasn't my worst Christmas. <laughs> it was pretty nice, actually. They gave us festive socks and a couple of cigarettes. <laughs> I don't smoke, but you could trade them for things. <laughs> Like, oxy. I was there because I was super manic. I thought I was Mary Magdalene. It's an easy mistake. <laughs> Woman crush Wednesday, am I right, ladies? <laughs> Fellows, too? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> My boys know about some delusions. <laughs> I, I did tell, like, an actual minister, like a, I don't know, certified minister, whatever they have to do, a legal minister that I thought I was Mary Magdalene. And she told me, I think you might be a spiritual medium. <laughs> okay, I was pretty fucked up. <laughs> and even I was like, I don't know about that. 
a spiritual medium, I am definitely a Sears Extra Large. <laughs> I, uh, the worst part though, I think the worst part is that if you, if one of the things that can happen when you're manic is you can have delusions of grandeur. Um, you can think you're absolutely anything. Jesus, God, the sky's the limit. And at the height of my delusion, I thought I was Jesus's side chick. <laughs> it's devastating to realize I am my own glass ceiling. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I, um, it worked out. And also, don't, I, I didn't end up getting my medical clearance, but it's, it worked out pretty well. I have a great life. Also, the State Department paid for my master's degree from Princeton. And I don't mention that because I think I'm better than you. It's just that society does. Uh, I'm going to rock and roll out of here. Before I do, though, um, I, I, I want to give you all a tip if you're, if you're a single in these nasty, nasty streets. <laughs> um, I, I, I have found a solution that works pretty well for dating here, and I love to offer it as my humble offering. Um, I only date Chicago tourists. All right, let me tell you, these tourists who come into town, they spend a lot less time entering buildings, a lot more time appreciating the architecture. <laughs> you know, the last time I was downtown, a group of four people asked me for directions to the bean, and that's the energy I'm looking for. <laughs> the reviews are in, and I am the taste of Chicago. <laughs> Thank you all, I've been Elaine Golden. <laughs> 